Oxford Reading Tree Biff, Chip and Kipper Stories Level 8 Written by Roderick Hunt Illustrated by Alex Brichter Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter Published by Oxford University Press 2011 Hi everyone, this is Miss Tom. Let's finish reading The Rainbow Machine Previously, a rainbow was needed but Fred didn't know how to use the computer. Nadine was good with computers. He looked at the rainbow keyboard and didn't really know what to do either. But he didn't like to tell Fred. The rainbow machine sent up a rainbow. The rainbow was so bright that everyone had to wear dark glasses. The children looked up at the rainbow they had made. The rainbow didn't look quite right. It caught straight sides. Everyone stopped to look at it. Children ran to their moms and dads, shouting, What a funny rainbow! The rainbow makers were having a cup of tea. They looked out of the window and saw the rainbow. It didn't have straight sides anymore, but it still didn't look quite right. The rainbow was wiggly. The rainbow makers ran out into the road, but the rainbow machine had gone. The rainbow changed again. This time, it was broken. Again, the rainbow changed. This time, it was twisted. We must find the rainbow machine, called the rainbow makers. They looked up at the sky. The rainbow had changed again. Oh no, said one of them. I don't want to look. The rainbow makers ran fast. They were in a hurry to find the rainbow machine. They didn't want to look at the rainbow. But I love looking at the different rainbows. This time, there were even words on the rainbow. Ooh, wow! What did the words say? Have a nice day! Wow! Now I started to think that Nadim was becoming a master rainbow maker. Back at the rainbow machine, something had gone wrong. Nadim had been too clever. The rainbow was leaking and all the red was running out. <laughs> I'll take back what I just said. Nadim needed more practice to be a master rainbow maker. <coughs> there was too much red in the sky. Quickly, stop the red. Otherwise, the whole sky would turn red. Too late. The sky was turning red. <gasps> oh no, said Nadim. I can't stop the red. Turn the rainbow machine off. <laughs> Fred turned pale. I can't turn it off, he said. <laughs> when the sky turned red, Fred turned pale. Pale 
就是苍白的意思。If I can't fix a problem on my computer, I would turn it off. Usually, that would fix the problem. But Fred was too new. He didn't even know how to turn off the rainbow machine. Oh boy, what could they do? Why did Fred turn pale? Because he didn't know how to turn off. The rainbow machine. The rainbow makers found the lorry. They were cross with Fred. <laughs> It will take days to get the sky blue again, they said. Thank goodness the rainbow makers found the lorry. I'm sure they knew. How to fix it? But they were very cross with Fred. The man in purple was angry. He jumped up and slammed his head to the ground. I have to say, the red sky did make people angry. The rainbow machine had to bleach the sky. We've never had to do this before," said one of the rainbow makers. "I hope it works." <coughs> bleach 就是漂白的意思 To bleach is to make things white. How did they bleach the sky? They poured sky bleach, 天空漂白剂 into the machine. What would happen to the sky? The sky had turned white. The sun wasn't yellow anymore. <laughs> It's a lot better than a red sky," said one of the rainbow makers. A red sky makes everyone bad-tempered. The sky bleach not only bleached the sky; it bleached the sun as well. <gasps> But I agree, a white sky was a lot better than a red one. <laughs> bad-tempered doesn't mean angry. Bad-tempered means easy to get angry. What is the opposite of bad-tempered? Yes, it is good-tempered. Why did the rainbow make us not like a red sky? Because. A red sky makes everyone bad-tempered. We are very sorry," said Nadim. "It was all my fault. Please don't blame Fred." <coughs> "It's all right," said the rainbow makers. "The sky will soon turn blue again." <laughs> Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. At first, Nadim didn't know how to use the computer, but he said he could. That was when the problem began. By telling the truth this time, Nadim did the right thing. <laughs> the other rainbow makers didn't blame Fred. I guess the white sky made everyone good-tempered. The sky was blue and the sun was shining. 
The rainbow isn't really made like that, is it? Asked Kipper. <laughs> you had better go to the end of one and find out, said Nina. <laughs> How do you know the adventure was over? <laughs> yes, the sky was blue. And the sun was yellow. <laughs> This story makes me think: if rainbows are made by a rainbow machine, what about lightning? Is there a lightning machine as well? 会不会有一台闪电制造机呢 ？If there was one, what different kinds of lightning? Would you like to make? All right, that's the whole story. Hope you like it. Goodbye. 本节目由喜马拉雅出品。<音楽>